Mirror, mirror on the wall. What is the worst way to practice of them all? The answer to that question will be found in your next daily dose of public speaking wisdom. From time to time, people will ask me different ways to practice their presentations. You've heard of some of these ideas in previous tips. Recently, I was talking to a young man. He was adamant about a way that he practices that I'm 100% against. He practices in front of a mirror. Why am I against this method? On the surface, it would seem to make sense, right? You're seeing yourself present, you're seeing different gestures and how you move your body. That's the problem. When you are rehearsing and practicing, we suggest that your focus should be on internalizing your message. Know the message so well that you don't have to think about it. You want to have a solid structure. You want to have a logical flow from point to point, a compelling opening, a foundational phrase, and a closing with a call to action. When you're looking into a mirror, where is your focus? It's on you and the things that you're doing physically. You cannot simultaneously evaluate yourself on the words that you're saying, the message, and the physical gestures, how you're delivering. You can't do it. Also, you've probably heard me say in previous tips that you should practice the way you play. When you speak, do you speak in front of a large mirror? Or do you speak in front of people? Now, there may be some kind of big mirror in the back of the room, but if you're looking at that, I can promise you, you won't connect with your audience. Mirrors don't work as a practice tool because the emphasis is on the wrong thing, you and how you look and appear. Now, is there a useful tool other than a mirror so that you can evaluate your delivery? Absolutely. You've heard this before from me and other coaches, I'm sure. Video camera. Yes, I know you don't like the sound of your voice. I felt that way many years ago. Here's the bottom line. You got to get over that. If you truly want to see the impact you're having when you speak, record yourself watch it. You can listen to how the audience is reacting to you. You can find distracting mannerisms. I still have an issue with some gestures when I'm internalizing the message, but once that's in, I can work on the delivery. Your video camera is your best friend if you want to accelerate your growth as a presenter. It will show you what you're doing well, first of all. You've got to repeat those things or else you'll stop doing them. It will also highlight those areas where you need to improve. Your tip for today, if you truly want to connect with an audience and you're not concerned about how you look up there, ditch the mirror. Don't break it because that'll be seven years of bad luck and I don't want to be responsible for that. Ditch the mirror, grab your camera, shoot the video, review it, and you will grow much faster as a presenter. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.